there is something about you that stands you out. Yeah. Something I can boldly say that I've never seen in any other man. Uh, and that is why I will always come around whenever you call me. Come on now, she don't start. Uh. <laughs> She, you know that you have a way with words. Don't even start with me right now. Don't, don't begin to praise me. You know how I get when you do that. <laughs> eh? You're not here to talk with me. You're here to play oh. with me. Mm. I would like to play. What is it? Why are you sweating like a goat being dragged to the slaughterhouse? Okay, man, I'm waiting my eyes in my mouth. You know, go fit to come on. Okay, man. Where is my son? Okay, man. He did lose something. He did lose something. Are you sure my son is okay? He did okay. He did okay. Where were inside the room? He did lose something. He did okay. Where were they? Okay, man, I'm the dog, see? His sin is believing. He could, could make you take your eye, could see him for yourself. Uh, Are you sure my son is fine? He did well inside the room. He did do well inside the room. Nadi, he did well. He did well there. Where is she? No. Oh, wonderful lady can go by the Where is she? Where is she? He did well inside the room. Wonderful lady can go by the Yes, I do. Professor Fabio, Professor Fabio. Fine man, no pimples. Professor of Manmatic and Arimatic. The man of every woman dream. Brav, brav. Bravo. But I don't even know why you're not even looking my way. Eh? Why now? What is this one doing? Prof, uh, Prof Fabio's picture. The both of you are still small children. You cannot even understand what I'm doing. Wait, wait. Um, uh, uh, can I take it? Hmm? We will never understand what you're trying to do. Oh, yes. That we just caught you red-handed. Trying to bewitch Oga Prof Fabio with his pictures. Maybe wish. Eh? Yeah? Maybe wish. Do you know that you'll get into trouble if I report you to madam? What kind of trouble can I get into? Ah. Eh? See, see, for your information, let me tell you, I'm only trying to room my job in this house. By arranging the living room and keeping it everywhere very arranged. Eh? And then I then decided to pray. She making me. What prayers are you making using Oga Fabio's picture? This Nanga is even learning on me that the both of you are not even living in this house. Are you not here in this house and you're seeing your camera bringing all kind of women, baby gays to this place, fat, big, short, yellow, white, green, to win Oka Fabio's heart? But you see, the only problem I have, just one problem, is that Oka Fabio is not even looking my way. Okay, so you see now, take a closer look at me. Just take a very closer look at me like this. Look at me now. Do I not have what Professor Fabio wants? Now you look at me now, just look at me. I can't tell you are just sick. Yes, it's water drug. Wait, oh, I can't tell me ask you. I don't even understand what you said. Do you even know the meaning of prof? Oh, yes. Okay, wait, let me ask you. So you mean to tell me that if Oga Prof Fabio bring engagement ring, call me down as a gentleman, call say, I can't tell you, will you marry me? You will open this your gutter mouth and say yes. Wonderful, I can't tell you. A guy that won the run. I will say this, 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 this. See, let me just tell the whole of you. Hmm? Let me ask you: Is there anybody? 
why would I not even agree? Is there anybody that they will carry sugar and put it in his mouth? He will not do it. I want to eat so. The both of you are just so. The, the both of you don't have sins. I mean, come on for pass, make a. I'm sorry, come on for don't make a pass. Rubbish people. Now, too much dog meat to eat. Chop, mind it to you. I knew you were going to come look for me, Mom. Huh? <laughs> Son. Mom. How long are we going to discuss this? Exactly. You will never give up. Why are you always the one cooking when I have people I pay to do the job? Mom, I'm making food that I can eat. Ah. For my stomach, it's, it's not a problem. I pay people to do these jobs. Why won't you allow them to do that? Mom, you pay people because you are Professor Emeritus. You, you're retired. I, I'm still in active service. So I might as well do this thing to myself, at least for now. Uh. Son. <laughs> yes, Mom. If you're not comfortable with these servants, I can actually lay them off and employ new oh, ones. No, no, no. Who says, Mom? No, no, no. You don't have to lay them off. They're doing an amazing work. I mean, you know, they serve you just the way I even like it. You know, they're really active. It's just that I love to cook, Mom. You know, this is me. Can yeah. you tell me you like it when you have not even allowed them to serve you? <laughs> well, how about I serve you today? Uh, no, I'm I could fine. make you something really nice. You'd love it. I can also make you spaghetti bolognese. You, you, you're going to like Thank it. you. <laughs> I'll be with you soon more. Oh, honestly, I am confused and frustrated over the whole thing. Huh? Esther, how can you say that? This is a beautiful job we have here. And Oga Prof has never delayed in payment of our salaries. You should be happy. Exactly the point I am trying to make. This is exactly the point I am trying to make. Let me tell you, by now, you're supposed to be jubilating and getting happy. Because my former office where I used to work before, Maoka used to mayor everything. If you mayor Kuli Kuli, he will mayor Akara. He will even mayor Tuba of Yam. So you should be happy. All we do in this house is go and job. Go and job. So you should be having your heaven on it in this house. Both of you don't even understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say. What is wrong with you? Oh, uh, Ma Esther. You should have told me that you wanted to insult me now. You should have just told me so that I go and carry it from Ma, I mean the mama stool, and sit down and call it all this insult. Eh? Esther, let me even ask you, safe. What do you know? What do you say? What do you know? See, so don't try me in this house. You make sure you don't try me. You are a woman, quite right. But you are not the one that wrote my exams for me. <sighs> okay. I am sorry if this is the way both of you understood it. All I'm trying to say is that we are all employed to serve here and earn our money. The Toga Fabio refuses us to do anything. Instead, he chooses doing it himself. What is this? Hello. Are you doing wrong, man? Is that what a problem? Since he has chosen to be a workaholic, he wants to be working and be working. Let him continue to do the job now. Why me I continue to collect my money and be eating the food? See, let me just tell you, as you see me like this, I am not bothered at all, at all. And I expect the both of you not to be bothered too. Hey, that's what I can tell you. Take the advice and take it home. Be both so. I've been begging you this, I've been talking to you, you're not even saying anything. You're just keeping me quiet. And you're being cold. What's going on? Babes, it's me. Talk to me. Please. Just just talk to me. Say anything. I, it's me, George, eh? George, please. I need more time. That's all I ask. More time? You know I'm a patient man. I've given you so much time. I've waited all this while for you to just say yes. Just accept my proposal and let's move More on. time, please. Wait, what more time do you want? I love you, babe. Your love has entrapped me and, and I will do anything to keep you. Please, just, just say yes to me, please. Please, babe, it's me. It's me, George. I love you. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I want to be candid with you. Okay. Listen, I am not ready to get married. What? Are you trying to ditch me? No, 
Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you trying to dump me? No, 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 not, not like that. I, I mean, I, right now, I am not in that frame of mind. I'm not, I'm not settled. I'm not ready to, to settle down. For how long? Get the hands off me! I can I explain? I mean, I, I, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm, my mind is not set. Just try and understand. Don't I, call me back to me. George, listen. It's, it's not like that. If you get so close to me, I will beat you up. Don't you ever talk to me. And see, don't call me and don't get close to me. Okay? George, don't be like that. George. I can live in there. My dear, are you actually crying? Mother, the worst has happened. He, he got infuriated and left. Who? George. Who is George? One of my suitors. Actually, the one that is very close to me. Oh, I see. He's angry because I, I rejected his marriage proposal. It's okay. Just calm down. Honestly, Mother, I, I can't keep doing this. Uh, I can't keep doing this. I don't, I'm not even sure that your son is ready to make me his wife. This is one thing I will deal with, definitely. Stop. I don't think I'm doing the right thing, Mother. I don't think so. I can't keep chasing all my suitors away. I can't keep doing this. Where are you now? I'm at home. Just stay there. I'll tell my driver to come and pick you up, okay? All right, I'll be waiting. All right. Don't keep me waiting, okay? I won't. I'll join you. Why is he keeping me waiting for goodness sake? <laughs> yeah, I'd better not keep me waiting. Fabio. Yes, Mom. Why did you keep me waiting for you? Uh, sorry, I kept you waiting, Mom. But you know that it's not in my nature to leave behind the dishes that I used in cooking and eating, so I had to take care of that. What does that mean? Meaning that I was dishwashing, Mom. Poor did us. Mom, please, please, don't start. I don't understand this. I needed your attention. But wasted so much time. Now you're telling me that you were dishwashing. Why? 
when I know that I employed people to do that in this castle? Why are you giving extra weights to his mom? Stop bothering yourself. You know I'm already setting my ways. This is where I am. Nothing can change it, mom. Eh? I just like to be a gentle man in my own world and, and do things for myself. <laughs> Fine. Now, Fabio, tell me. Why are you refusing to get intimate with the bride I chose for you? <sighs> Mom, why are you still flogging this issue? Son, I've really come too far to start relenting on this issue. I'm planning extreme measures to hook me up with a said maiden would clearly not work, Mom. Because I know what I want. And beyond that, I'm not in a hurry to settle. Your reason being? That I will get married someday. Not just yet. Is that all, Mom? I believe that will be all, Mom. Just walk out on me. Who would have believed that Fabio, an apt scholar who has attained the height of professorship in mathematics education, is not interested in marriage even at 49? I have tried every tactics. I have tried every means, even gentle actions, to manipulate him into trying to get a wife. But everything proved abortive. Since he finds it very difficult to get a wife, gone out of my way to get one for him. But unfortunately, he's, he's not even showing any interest in Onye. Not to talk of making her his wife. What? As a lecturer in Science University of Unjikoka, S.U.N. They have given him a sabbatical leave. Something that comes up every seven years. I was thinking this would give him an opportunity to find himself a wife, but no. My goodness. How did I feel as a mother? What did I commit? I was thinking that at 49, my son should have his family. Fine shorts. <laughs> I could make a professional photographer though. I don't look shoddy at all. And I see this one. Yes. Okay. Well, this is good too. Um, a bit softer, but not too cool. Hello? Good afternoon, sir. This is Trisha speaking. Trisha, I don't think I know who I'm speaking with. Trisha from Science University. Um, 
no, I don't quite follow. I get to meet a lot of young girls every day, so, you know, um, forgive me if I don't remember you. It's okay, I'm in your compound. What, you're here? I am standing in your compound. Um, okay, you know what? Um, tell the house staff to show you to the waiting lobby. Okay? Okay, sir. Oh, you. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, you're welcome. So how are you doing today, my friend? I'm okay, enjoying my sabbatical leave, and how are you? Mm, I'm fine. It is so glaring you're certainly having a swell in your sabbatical, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, what brings you here unannounced, if I might add? Um, I'm so sorry I came unaware. It was just impromptu. You know, I came here because I'm having issues with my father maths. I tried to solve it, but I couldn't. Mm. You know I'm not good in mathematics. <laughs> yeah, even if you say so yourself, eh? <laughs> that it means that you're not qualified to be in sun. Uh, you're, you're not meant to be in in science university, you're supposed to be studying arts or, you know, something away from a lot of arithmetics. Yes, I know I should be studying an art course, but my parents insisted I go for science. They did? Yeah. Typical. You see, that's what we we deal with uh, these days. It's, it's quite prevalent in the times that we live in. Uh, which is the reason you have a lot of um, half-baked graduates and um, half-baked undergraduates in universities because these kids, um, you know, are forced to go against their will and study something that they do not have a passion for. And at the end of the day, you know, comes out funny. So you have a lot of people that are unqualified in this society. Mm. Um, you know, square pegs and round holes and all of that. But Today's not for lectures. Yeah. <laughs> um, Prof, can you please help me to solve it just this one more time? No, 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 no. I've been bad from all academic work. I'm on sabbatical, remember? I, I hope you're not trying to send me away, Prof. Well, I am not, but at the same time, you know, uh, I'm on leave. I shouldn't be doing academic work. Prof, please, I... Sincerely crave your indulgence. Just help me to solve this mathematics just this one last time. And I'll forever be indebted to you, please. Okay, it's okay. I'll do it. This last. Let's see what you have. Okay. Let's see what you have. I would prefer to do this in your room. What? Oh. We are good here. Of course. Well, fine here. Let's see what you have. Okay, I see you came with your textbook. <laughs> you didn't have to, but it's okay. Okay, I see what you're dealing with here. This, this should be easy peasy for you now. It's not mm -hmm. difficult. You have um, um, 2x multiplied by 10b minus 25. What does that give you, Trisha? 2x multiplied by 10b minus 25 would be? Proof. Is this why you're here? Proof, you're so cute. Trisha, um, hold on a second. Are you here for me to help you with? School work, or you're here for this. Prof, can you just stop this whole thing? You know I love you, you need to so answer my, much. You what? I love you. Oh, not again. Prof, please. I really love you. Please. Oh, 
Patricia. Patricia. How did it go? Oh, same old story, ma'am. Your son is such a hard nut to crack. And seriously, I want to back out. I, Trisha, cannot continue to force my way into Fabio. My dear, you cannot chicken out now. Ma'am, at this point, I think the best thing for me to do is to retreat. Persistence, Trisha. Persistence. You have to keep pressing. Okay? Ma'am. This... I'm already looking stupid. Can't you see it? Just take, take a good look at me. I am a very beautiful woman. I don't go for men. Men chase after me because of who I am and what I represent. Me trying to lure your son to get down with me is not what I... Like I said earlier, you need to persist in spite of the opposition. Ma'am, I have been into this demeaning act of waywardness right from his 47th birthday. I have been persistent for a whole of two years trying to lure your son to get down with me. And it's obvious it's not working at all. Trisha. Ma'am, I must state the obvious. Your son, Professor Fabio, I know is either gay or impotent. I take exception to that. My son is not gay. Neither is he impotent. Ma'am, Professor Fabio always flames when it comes to the matters that has to do with women. My son is a full-fledged man. He has feelings, just like every other man. Ma'am, Professor Fabio is lucid. And the truth is glaring. What truth? The truth that he doesn't want me. Well, Tricia. Ma'am. I know my son is very objective, but... Ma'am, hold on. Let's just cut the whole long story short. This whole idea is already making me look cheap. Um, I... I beg to take my leave now. It's okay. I'll call you again. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. My prayer all my life is to see my son pick a wife. But he does not seem to be in a hurry. What have I not done for him to notice me? What tricks, what tactics have I not used? I don't know what's going on. Is it that he's not seeing all these beautiful maidens trooping in and out of this compound? He has suitors and admirers coming in, filing in for her. I don't know what my son is doing. I don't know what is wrong with him. Fabio, what is wrong with you? What is it? Should I tell you the truth? Mm -hmm. I think you're just angry for nothing. Madam Esther raised a valid concern. And I, I don't think you should dismiss her just like that. What is her concern? Imelda, you've been working with Professor for a very long time. Don't fall my hand. I expect you to get sense. 
It seems. Ikaite, you have to stop this. So, the same way you insulted others is the way you're insulting me now. How did I insult you now? I'm only speaking my mind. And I am telling you that your said mind is not making any sense. For crying out loud, Ikaite, our job is at stake. And you need to think. Okay, now. Tell me what you want us to do. See, to me, I would say we should all go and plead with Oga Fabio. Yes, let's beg him to stop doing our job. We are paid for this job and he should stop doing it for us. Mahavasi, me, I cannot rule at home. I cannot rule at What do you mean you cannot do it, Ekaiti? Do you want them to fire us? Nobody can fire me. Because I was not the one that asked Professor Fabio to be doing the entire work. Let him do the work. Eh, and for your information, he does not like to be called Oka Fabio. He is a professor. Call him Professor Fabio. That name is William Dai. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I am tired of you. Do you know why? Why? You are an impossible character. Do that for me. I like her. Impossible Good character. Night. Good night. Good To understand what is so special about this prof guy bella like i told you before it's prof fabio for me why him why are you doing this thing to yourself procrastination they say is the thief of time time waits for no one i mean time is ticking fast she doesn't know well he's the one my heart yearns for He's a good man. He doesn't take advantage of anybody. And I, Oyinyechi Zeribe, I want to get married to that good man. I want to spend the rest of my life with Fabio. Uh, we are friends, right? And we would look out for each other. Okay, fine. I'm not disputing the fact that Prof is a good man. He's a wonderful man. But would you rather... You keep chasing away all the suitors and admirers you have just because of one prof that is not interested. He doesn't want to marry you. I know you're not daft, right? You see he's not giving you any green light. He will come around. Tell her, for I'm sick and tired of trying to talk our friend out of this. Oni, you think that man who has sworn never to get married at 49 will one day have a rethink and come for you? It's not possible. It's not possible. It's mission impossible. The earlier, the better. And as far as I know, girlfriend, he's not coming for you. It's not happening. I'm not even seeing it. Girls, thanks for looking out for me. But like I said before, it's prof or no one else. What? What? I'm just checking. Let me know if you have malaria or you're fine. You are the one that has malaria. No! I am fine. I am fine. Check. Is I think she has like... Prof! Prof! I love... Wait, is, 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 is it now a crime to be in love? No, I no. love him. And I'm willing to wait for Babe, him. Babe, not with a man that is 49. Like, he's not interested. She You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Take this in, sir. Welcome. What is it? Mother, I am tired. I just want to walk away. You're confusing me, daughter. I don't understand. Who are you walking away from? Fabio. Oh. Honestly, mother, I want to walk away from this complicated, confused and embarrassing situation. Just calm down, okay? He doesn't love me. Did he tell you that? He doesn't have to say it. Action speaks louder than words. All right. Mm -hmm. Just calm down. Okay? It is not something I can't handle. Trust me. Everything will be fine. Okay? Well, honestly, I am hurting. Honestly, I am hurting. I'm sorry. What you really need now is something to calm your nerves. Do you mind coming in with me? I'll get you something very refreshing, okay? Come with me. Hey,
Oh, that is no longer your thing. Oh, I've been there for about a year. They call Brandine before my sister in Hong Kong come tell me and say, Oh, come, madam, they call me. No weeks. Save your explanation. Find your car. Find someone to come, madam. Welcome. Thank you, Akaite. Go and get something very refreshing for her to drink. Don't forget to wash those dirty hands of yours, okay? Oh, come, madam. Did I ask? Make you no worry, huh? As you see me, so if I come out go by here, I go go wash my hand with enough water, soap and sponge. I go even use hand sanitizer. Take wash and wait, wait. My dear, <laughs> I'll soon join you, okay? All right, ma. <laughs> Are you in Wonderland? Chai! Why are you screaming? Okay, madam. Small okay, madam. You know, see something I refuse to say. Okay, call it very, very partial. It's a real partiality way, well. I don't understand. Okay, make I make you to understand. You see, I can only one person. Be this natural beauty. You can't do it. You can't find a way with Why other people be equal to war war? In war war? <sighs> ah, Ekaite. You're so funny. Okay. Thanks for the compliment anyway. You're welcome. Okay, madam. Just did that. Hmm? See, you just did that. Did that like that. Make a copy in some way. You can make your body to the shine more more. The next one, I come. I'm waiting. Thanks, Mother Cameron. Ah! Can you be so funny? Mm -hmm. Ah, hello. Can okay, you say, who come now? Oh, Cameron, get this. Who be the guest? Now, I'm going to question. Okay. Ah. Now, but it's still union. Ah, I think she should don't go. Go, okay. Somebody with Tandari for a pile of the rock of your wrist that I cannot be moved. She Tandari, she never go anywhere. Okay, madam, say make I go wash my hand well with the knock soap, water, and sanitizer. Before I can't serve them use where they go ring. So oh. I won't go to store and I go collect all those materials so I could use wash my hand. Hmm? Okay, now. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a soon go out so. I just they help you, they wash, they clean everywhere. To say I'm a musician, hmm? I've been on what album? You know, no. Take a bar and young, 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 Anything for you? <laughs> Mother, I should know I can't tell by now. You're the one that asked her to wash her hands thoroughly, so she must be at it. 
She has to spend eternity washing her hands. <laughs> Did you hear what she said she used? Soap, sponge, sanitizer and everything. Ekaite! <laughs> Ekaite! Oh, oh, son? What were you doing in your room? Oh, well, nothing serious actually. I was uploading um, pictures, uh, you know. I was emailing my shots to some, you know, agent in New York that promised to make a very fine display of them for me in the next art exhibition. I'm just hopeful and optimistic. Uh, anything else, Mom? I... I... I guess you're going out. Yes, Mom. Of course I'm going out. You know, when I'm armed with this, it's me versus nature. So I guess i see you later, Mom. That's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, Kaite. Yes, you come, madam. Yes. So finally, you have brought it. Why did it take you so long? Oh, come, madam, why you do this for me like this now? Maybe you talk to me, I go back here, go wash my hand with all those materials. I can't use all those materials. I can't say, say you know, you know, Kukur, I can't add Ipo, I can't wash your well, well. I told you. Okay, madam, enjoy your co use. I will enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, okay. Serve it, serve it, serve it, Ali. Come on, you don't move. Okay, okay, come on. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. You can leave. No, come on. Huh? <laughs> you can go, go. Okay, okay, man. My dear, please drink your juice before you go to school. Thank you, man. My dear Queen Earth, now you have to summon up courage, okay? I don't like weak-minded people. Oh, he's here. I'll call you again pretty soon, okay? All right. Bye. Mom. <clears throat> Son, you're here. Oh, yes. Um, who was that on the phone? Oh. It was Queenness. She asked after you. Oh, she did? I see. I must have been the topic for discussion, as always. <clears throat> she complained about your coldness towards her. Oh well. It's a free world. We're all entitled to our opinion. By the way, Mom, today was a good day. You should see what I have here. Ah. I am happy. <laughs> My long walk into the wild was very, very fruitful today. You need to see what I have here. You know, the joy it gives when I just, you know, take a long walk and I'm taking pictures, taking beautiful shots of birds, animals, you know, wildlife, and sometimes human beings, you know, carrying on with their daily activities. Who oh, quite fulfilling. And then, you know, after all that I did today, Mother, you need to see what I have here. Ah, I cannot wait to send the samples to my foreign clients who would give anything to have their hands on this footage. I'm going to make money. I will make some money. Mom. <clears throat> Son. You okay? Yes? What else do you know how to do best? Apart from taking pictures. I know how to be happy. This gives me joy, mom. Gives me fulfillment. 
apart from being a university lecturer, this makes me happy. Go ahead, son, and continue taking pictures. But time waits for no one. You're not getting younger. I know what it is my life and I am going to live it how I deem it best. Fine. Go ahead and live your life. Live it to the fullest. <laughs> At 49, a man who has attained the height of eminence in his chosen profession <clears throat> is yet to be settled and he calls it life Hell no. I'm embittered that out of all these women frolicking around this around this castle, you have refused to pick one. Mom. Were well, those women coming here because of me? I thought they were your friends. Uh, I thought those were your guests. Of all the ladies trooping in and out of this castle, I picked Tony because of her innate character. Wow. Hmm. Wow, mom, wow. So you've been the one cajoling these women into coming to the castle here to lure me into having something with them. Mom. Mom. Son, all I ask of you is for you to be married and give me grandchildren and I will be happy. You will be happy. Everyone will be happy. When well, here is one woman that I like. When well, here is a wonderful person. She's an embodiment of beauty. Plus brains. She's a superwoman. Her bravery. Her bravery is, is what, mother? What? A long list of her qualities. I don't care. Mom, no. You have blown this out of proportion. How can you go out of your way to try to hook me up with all these women trying to find me a wife, mom? At my level? Come on, mother. This is below the belt. I'm not just educated and exposed. I am a professor, mother. No. She was here earlier today. She was dead for you for so long. But she had to go. You know what, Mother? I have nothing else to say on this. But I don't know what you think of me, but I tell you who I am. When it comes to women, I am a very responsible man. Very responsible. Dare you walk out on me, Fabio? A child I nurtured. This is strange, ma'am. But I perfectly understand what you're driving at. I mean, I've been with Prof not once, not twice. He seems to be dead whenever he's with the opposite sex. I, I mean, he has been a helping hand each time I'm having some challenges with mathematics. He's such a genius. But certainly not in women affairs. Honestly, Dr. Duke, I don't know how else to handle this. My son shrieks each time 
marriage is being mentioned. Really? Yes. He does not want anybody to help him. He cooks his food, washes his cars, does his laundry, does practically everything for himself. What? With all the maids and servants around here, my son does not want to be served. Wow. Even when I want to get intimate with him, he would dismiss that in the most polite manner. <laughs> I mean, Professor Fabio is such a wonderful man for crying out loud. What could possibly be stopping him from picking a life partner? That is where I want you to come in. I want you to try again. I want you to make him fall in love with you. Ma'am? Me? Yes. Why me? The answer is simple. You are single. Ma'am, don't forget I'm a single mother. I have two kids for two different men already. I know all that already. I want you to come in because you are more experienced. You are experienced with men's affairs. At least, you have already produced two children. Two grown children. Please, I would like you to do this for me. Mom, there is this sardonic expression on his face each time he sees me. <sighs> Honestly, I don't think he's going to. He won't to have anything to do with me. Yes. Even though he feels relaxed whenever he's helping me out with my mathematical problems. <sighs> Besides, he he gets his truths from snapshots and other things. Uh, I doubt if this is going to work out, ma'am. Must it be today? I didn't plan for this. Dr. Duke, mm. please, do this for me. This is one favor I will not forget in a hurry. Please. Mom, after everything I explained, I have tried this before. I even went as far as showing him work pictures, yet he declined. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't do this today. That is because you have been doing it on your own all this while. Now you have my blessing. Trust me. He will give in. Mom. What if he doesn't give in? What if he fails me? I will not be able to take it. Please let me go. What if you succeed this time? Will you not be happy to stay with me here? Now, I love it. What funny, you no, know. See, no, I was just being truthful. Oh, really? really? Yeah. <laughs> You're very funny. Where is she? Oh, did you hear that? No, just hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Okay. Where is she? Don't panic. Hold on. Don't panic. Don't panic. That's your mom's voice. Yeah, just hold on. I told you. You again? You again? What did I tell you the last time you useless and shameless woman? Oh, she's mute. Why are you keeping quiet? Are you not going to say anything? Was it not for the same act? That I fell out with you the other time. I told you. I want you strictly. Leave my son alone. Stay away from him. 
Stay miles away from my son so that he can reason. So that he can think straight. Mom, that's that's okay, mom. Please. Shut up. No, please don't tell me to shut up, mom. Your unwarranted intrusion into my life is uncalled for. This is unwarranted. You just barged into my room. You're embarrassing my guest. I don't like it. Son, give me your reasons for refusing to marry Onini. The woman I chose for you. A woman of elegance. A lady of great voice. A paragon of beauty. A woman whose beauty has enslaved a lot of noble men. What are you looking for in the poison in between these shameless widow's ties? Get out of my house. If you don't get out right now, I'll get you arrested. Mom, she goes nowhere. She's here for me. Closeness. Your mother's arrogance enraged me. And thanks for, thanks, thanks for not responding and just, you know, being able to hold yourself together. I appreciate it. That's why, mother, I'm going to talk with her. She will get used to you. I promise you. Okay. Please, just, just, just get me out of here. Please, just yes, get me. Sweetheart, calm down. Come on. We're not fighting now, are we? So you should always consider eventualities. And by that, I mean. Always think about the aftermath of your actions. What actions, mom? What is wrong with Chiamaka? I like her. Oh yes, she is the one for me. The woman that you embarrassed out of this castle. She's the one that I have chosen, mom. Never. Son, I, I keep wondering why a man in your caliber should be caught in such a demeaning action. What confuses you, mother, is that you forget that I am now a man. And I know what I want. I know what's best for me. And Chiamaka is the one that I want. Son, all I want is for you to see reasons with me. But no, you will always bluff in defiance. Marry Onine. What? Marry your niña? Never. Never. What did you just say? You heard me loud and clever. I will not do it. <sighs> Fine. Son, you getting married is uppermost in my mind. And you trying to get involved in this creeps me out, mother. You wanting to help makes me feel uptight. I have an up-to-date account of how you connive with these women to come here and lure me. Mother, it is rigidly unconventional for you to want to have your son's pants down by some strange women, all because you want me to get married to your kind of woman. It is not right, mother. It is not right. Your dealings with all these women, I know. I am very much informed of it. Stop it, please. Fabi, why do you have this upside way of doing things? Dealing with priorities last. You know what, mother? I think that we have overflogged this issue for one day. I need to cut somewhere.
Yes. Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, Tim, how are you? I'm fine, sir. But, but sir, I don't understand what is going on, and that makes me uncomfortable in this house. I, I don't know how to say it, but your mom will be angry with me if she finds out that you are doing those things that she assigned me to be doing. Um, let me address this uh, for the last time. I am not used to being served. So if you see me do things around here, it is because I enjoy it. If, if I wash my car, it is because I enjoy It's my car. Uh, we have other cars here. You have my mother's car. You can wash those. You know, it keeps you busy. Whatever it is that I am doing in the house, uh, it's, it's just a little section of the house. It's a very big house. You know, so definitely you would have something to do. Yeah. Yes, sir, but the truth is that I, I don't understand what you are saying. My your mom will, will, will fire me if she finds out that I'm still doing those things. Okay, Timothy. Sir. I'd like to be able. Please, thank you. Sir. Sir. Unyechi, what have you done again? For the obtained time, girlfriend. You just rejected another suitor. I know. Onyechi, why are you doing this thing to yourself for, for a man who doesn't even know you exist? Someone who doesn't even know about the emotional trauma you go through every day. All because of him. I'm sorry, Bella. I love Fabio. It's a pity that he's yet to reciprocate the love. You know, if a soothsayer had told me that you would do same to Nzube, I wouldn't have believed it. I mean, why Nzube for crying out loud? Why? Do you know what you have done to this innocent man? Do you know the emotional blackmail they go through because of you? To an extent, Winye, they have suffered in your hands. Bella, like I said before, I love Fabio and I'm ready to wait as long as it takes. <laughs> wait. Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure Professor Elizabeth Ocon has not bewitched you into waiting endlessly for her gay son? Please stop, Bella. Stop it. Please. Nobody bewitched anybody here. Then why wait for a man who doesn't even know about you? Someone who has caged himself in a place where he calls castle. All he does in his sabbatical leave is go out into town, taking shots of birds flying in the sky, trees, animal, people going about their businesses. When you need to wake up, you're not getting any younger. Oh. My learned colleague has gone back. What is wrong with you? Talk to me. Papa. Mama. Please. Please help me talk to him here. Please. Jay, what kind of thing is this? Papa, the whole essence of my life revolves around her. Please talk to her. Nay, there's something definitely wrong with her daughter. She can't keep driving away suitors like this. It's wrong. I'm afraid I am beginning to contemplate suicide. Uh, 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 no, uh, uh, my please. son, it has not got into that, please. God forbid. No. Let, me, let me just, so I can just put an end to all this no. and just let it be. It has not got into that, please. No. But Papa, why will Onye leave me to lick my wounds alone? Why? No. 
please, you have to call our daughter immediately and speak some sense into her. Please call her. Uh, my son, please. please be a man. Eh? Mm. Relax. It shall be all right. Huh? I love her here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And she's the one yes. I want. Yes. Okay. I will call and talk to her. Yes. Please do, Papa. I will definitely do. Please. I will. Please. I will definitely call her. Honestly, Mother, I don't think I'm doing the right thing. Oh, my daughter, I don't know what else to do. I have tried to talk to Fabio, but I do not know... I'm sorry, Mother, but I cannot continue like this. He has not shown any sign of seriousness. I, I can't. Listen. Nzube is my childhood friend. He loves me. He came back from the United Kingdom because of me. But my child, there's no way you will marry another man and leave my son. Please. Mother, if I were your daughter, would you advise me to wait for a man who is not ready to make me his wife? Zube will kill himself if I don't marry him. I mean, I have made countless men go through a lot. I wouldn't want anything to happen to Zube. Mimi, please. Please, my daughter. No, mother, I have to go. Oh, take care of yourself. Oh, excuse me. you done to me? Did I do something? Don't touch me! Please. I don't want you to think that I am being rude. Because I'm not. But you, your visit is quite unexpected. What do you mean by unexpected? Zube, it's me. Oyenyechi. Oyenyechi in Zeribe. The love of your life. You had wanted me all your life. You said you came back for me. Zube, you actually proposed to me, you remember? Yes, I did. But you also rejected me. Not once, not twice. He, he rejected me. He told me there was a man in your life already. Oye, you don't know how the sound of that kept ringing in the ears of a man who was ready to love the woman with all his heart and was ready to go the extra mile for her. But I'm ready. Hey, baby. I'm ready. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Hi. Mm, such an elegant lady. Who is she? Um, Laura, please. Just the car keys. Wait for me at the car. I will join you shortly. Please. Zubay, my love. You know we are supposed to go to the bridal shop for our shopping in preparation for our wedding. Do you think this is the best time to entertain random visitors? Oh. Um, Laura, um, the lady standing here is not a random visitor. Like you just said. I beg you, please, go into the car and wait for me. Few minutes I'll be done. Please. Okay. Please. Okay. Really? Uzube, really? <laughs> Do you even know the meaning of love? Do you? It's barely one month that we had a misunderstanding and boom, you've moved on. You've moved on already. Are you... Why are you sounding as if I am the bad person here? Because I am definitely not. So I keep reminding you how many times you've rejected me? You know how many times I stayed up late at night? Weeping? Do you know the trauma? Your rejection cost me. Do you even have an idea that it got to a point I was ready to die? I drove in my own car, went to a bar with the sole intention of getting drunk. So I can just get into my car and then drive myself to death. What? Babe, it's my why they tell you so. It's my game on you. If you meet this man, you will cash out. I they tell you. It's in a play. No. Lori, Lori, ah ah, how far now? So why you they take that man out? You don't say we they here on important mission. What's in? What's in so, babe? You know how I roll. I am not committed to any wrong appointments. I can change. Anytime, anywhere. You understand? I should be like this soon. That man is very drunk. He's very drunk now. And I can add to you that he is troubled. How did you know? It's something everybody knows. We know this. Men use alcohol to suppress their frustration and sorrow. But they fail to realize that when the alcohol clears, the trouble remains. You get sense for this matter like this. So what do you want to do now? Yes, I trust you. Okay, one go runner. <sighs> my babe, my babe. Lauren the Lauren. Move better. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Excuse me. I will. I will be okay. Why you bring something stronger? <laughs> something strong. You mean you need something strong in the States? Uh. <clears throat> the 
Where are my khakis? Hmm? Sorry, sir. Do you mean you want to try like this? I, 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 don't, I don't know what planets were manated for. But please, get the hell out of here. Get out! Yeah, get out! I, 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 I need you to be... <clears throat> I know this will be over. Oh. Oh. It, um, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stopping now. I know. Oh. It's okay. Are you are you okay? Oh. It's fine. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> This always no, it's it, you, you can leave that, okay? I paid for it. I know. <laughs> it's fine. I paid for it. Oh. Good morning. Who are you, Anne? What am I doing here? My name is Lauren. Huh? Where is this place? What am I doing here? Okay, you ask plenty of questions. Well, I saved you yesterday. I met you at the bar, but you got yourself drunk to stupor and almost got yourself killed. In that case, it is not an abduction then. No. Well, you should have allowed me, you should have allowed me die there. Wow. First of all, whatever it is, you're going through is not what's taking your life. <sighs> yeah. You will not understand. And she, she, uh, she just. Um... Okay, so it's actually because of a woman. You almost got yourself killed. Well, I, I am. Better of dead. I mean, what was the need? You're a man, and you have to be strong. Mm -hmm. Please, where is my shirt? Oh, it's in there. And my wallet. I, I, I had some money in it. Your money is in your wallet. 
Your wallet is over there. Uh, um, thank you for everything. Thank You're you. Welcome. So, I will go fix you something to eat. Uh, it's okay. Meanwhile, what's your name? Zube Chuku. Although my friends call me Nzube. Okay. Nzube. Alright. I'll be with you in a tree. Let me get you something. Just relax. Thank you. to wash it because it got wasted last night. I am sorry. So, sorry for what? Am I complaining? I, I Go stressed ahead. you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Wear your clothes. Uh, thank you. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I think I have um <laughs> please just uh, take this. Yeah, what's that for? I did not do what I did to get paid. No, th this is not payment. It's just for the stress. I mean, please have it. Thank you. No, I don't want. And I insist. And I said no. <laughs> okay. In that case, I will just um, hurriedly dress up then. But I, I, I am really sorry for yesterday. You know, you had to go through a lot to put in this cloth together. Thank you. You're welcome. I must say thank you for everything. You don't have to be thanking me. Anyway, um, your kind gesture will not be forgotten. <laughs> well, it's okay. Do take care of yourself. Of course, I will. Goodbye, Lorraine. Goodbye. I didn't know. Laurel saved my life. She saved me from committing suicide. She was just dead at night. <laughs> She's the reason I'm still alive today. That's it. I'm sorry. Zubi, I am so sorry. I never knew you went through all that. I'm sorry, please. It's, it's fine now. I... There is always going to be a man for you. After everything, I realized that my heart belongs to Laurel. Not you, as I thought. There's a man for you. 
or something tells me that you think I am a fool and do not understand what is going on. Laura, I am trying everything humanly possible here to make sure that this relationship works. Why can't you give peace a chance? Why? Please, do not try to turn the tables around because you do not know what peace means. You stood with a lady over 30 minutes, more than 30 minutes, and you come here telling me that you two have nothing going? And that is the truth. Oh, wow. That's not just any lady, it's Onye, my childhood friend. And you know it. It's not like it's new news to you. She might be your child friend, but the dynamics has changed. And it is so glaring that you two have something going. So start talking. Wait. Did you just say dynamics? And what dynamics are you talking about here? Huh? Uzube, you are still saying that lady. Or can you stand before anything sacred to swear that you two have nothing in common? Go ahead, tell me. Can you? Is it the fact that I am still seeing that lady? It's already a glorified fallacy. The original truth is that I have never even dated her. We've never had anything relating to relationship. You've never dated her and you gave her such attention. You gave her the kind of attention you did out there. Laurel, I, I am not dating on here. What is it? We are not in any kind of relationship. Really? <sighs> you know what, Nzube? This will not work. I mean, I cannot stand my man. Being so close to another woman, and yet he has the nerves to defend the woman. Who does that? Who? Uh, is this who you are? <laughs> oh, please, do not play that sentiment card. I hate it. What are you planning to do? Hmm? What are you planning to do? Your woman, your wife-to-be, raise a serious concern and you feel you can live without giving her the explanation that she seeks. Oh wow, really? Hmm? Laura, why have you decided to just completely become impossible? Huh? I have been explaining the same thing to you for more than an hour now. You've chosen not to see things in my way, right? You've chosen not to understand. So I'm leaving. To give you more time to ponder on my explanation. And I will not ponder on lies. I will not. So the earlier you got talking, the better for us. I need the truth. And that is the truth. All the things I've been saying are the truth. I have told you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So the right cause of action is for me to leave. I am sure you will understand better when I'm gone. Please. Okay. I will put this very mildly and calm. My dearest Nzube, you are not going anywhere without telling me the truth. Mm -mm. You will not. And what are you thinking of? An escape route? You're thinking of how you run? Well, listen to me and listen good. You're not going anywhere without me today. You are not leaving. I am going with you. I'll be your shadow. I will flaunt everywhere around you today. Mm-hmm. Do you really want to see 
the other side of me. Who? Why the hell are you keeping me quiet? Why? Laura, I will not have you unleash your malicious bite on me. I won't. Is this some kind of prank to avoid the question? Hmm? You know, it's very obvious to me now that you obviously lack good parental upbringing. You do. Wow. <laughs> so this is it. Hmm? This is it. A minute ago, you told me that you were going to give me all the explanations I needed to know. Now we are here. Come on, tell me. Tell me all I need to hear now. Let me ask you this question. Who is the man in this relationship? Oh, please. Come off it. I obviously am. Yes. And so I demand some level of respect from you. Okay. So because you're the man in this relationship, you are entitled to cheat on your son-to-be wife. I am not cheating! Really? So then, go ahead. Clear the voice suspicion. I need to know exactly what I need to know. Tell me, who is Barista on here to you? Go ahead. She's just a friend, and I am not cheating on you. Liar. You're just a liar. So, by calling me a liar, if I said that we actually are lovers, will that be the truth in your own eyes? And what if we are? Are you going to beat me? No, will you flog me? Wow. Nzube, so this is it. Hmm? This is it. Really? I will give you this explanation not because you deserve it. Okay. But because Kotsi demands it. Go ahead. I and Oye have been friends from childhood days. In fact, she's almost like a sister to me. And I have proposed marriage to her. But for whatever reason known to her, she declined my proposal. <laughs> Are you okay now? Oh, Nzube. My dearest Nzube. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Do I look like a baby? No, take a look. Do I look like a child to you? Hmm? You, you, she's a childhood friend. She refused your proposal. So what the hell is she looking for around you? Tell me, what is she doing around you? Oh, she's coming back so you guys, you, you reunite again. Is that it? Really? As I said, you don't deserve this explanation. Doris, I am finished. Can I you... I finished. Can you explain it to me? Why is a grown woman crying like a child? What is it? Zubay is getting married. You're joking, right? I am not joking. I went to his house to tell him that I'm now ready to settle down with him. Instead, I met him with his fiancée. They were actually on their way to a bridal shop to shop for their wedding items. But well, I've been saying this. Babes, I kept saying this. <laughs> Doris, I want my Zubi back. I want him back. I want him back. I want him back. But you can't have him back. It's way too late. You went overboard. You had such a good opportunity. You morphed it. I think that woman has used you enough. Yes, that uh, so-called Professor Elizabeth or whatever her, her name is. She has done more harm than good to you. She kept deceiving you. Telling you her son will come, he will marry you. And for that singular reason, you rejected every other suitor. The heartbreaking part is you rejected Elizabeth's proposal. <laughs> Did you forget? You forgot all your memories with him. Oh, 
you masterminded his business. Like it's, it was all your doings. You forgot. And now you, you, you finish building and another woman is about to settle in there. Is it true the way he's getting married to a woman he just met? No. You know, Doris was trying to let me know what happened. Like, Uzube is getting married to a woman he just met. Their wedding comes up in two weeks time. Oh my god. I am not getting this. Like, how? How? Do you disobey that we know? Getting married to a woman he just met, just like that. You know, I never stopped fantasizing about you and Uzube coming husband and wife. And all of a sudden, he's getting married to someone he, he just met, another woman. No, this is no good. Like, is, it, is, it, is it possible to have him back? Is it possible to have a Zube back? <laughs> Babes, you know, it's not possible. It's mission impossible. Unless you want to go into extramarital affairs. Besides, how, how did he even resort to getting married to another woman? Just like that. He said... The lady saved him the day he wanted to commit suicide. Suicide? Like he was contemplating on suicide? Yes. After I rejected his proposal, he drank himself to stupor and he actually wanted to drive himself to death. Oh. But Onye, you blew this up. You messed up. We were actually telling you about this. Oh. This is not good. This is not good. You mean I can't have him back? I've, I've lost him. I've lost him. I've lost him. It's like, just like that. Please. <laughs> you know, this is mission impossible. Zube is gone for good. Unless you want to go into extramarital affairs. Hi, God. Oh, ye, oh, ye, oh, ye, calm down, please. Calm touch this body or feel any part of my body anytime soon until you tell me the truth. I hear me. And what truth are you talking about here? The same truth I have repeatedly told you? Hmm. You're a two-time liar. So you think I do not know you are having an affair with Onye? Oh really? Really? Oh. That again. Laurel, at this point, I will not have any argument with you regarding Onye anymore. So you know what? Whatever is in your head, 
Just believe it. Stick with it because I have no explanation to give you anymore. If you like, you go and sleep. If you like, you remain here. I am not surprised. It is in men's DNA to cheat. Cheat, bloody liar. We have a visitor. Who is that? It's Madame Shiamaka. The same Madame Shiamaka that used to come here all the time. She's here to see Professor Fabio. Let her in. I learned you're here to see my son. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. Thank you. Why have you come to see him? Sorry? What is sorry? You don't have a reason for coming here? Oh. So you're here? To sleep with my son, right? Indeed, you're a very shameless woman. That your husband is late is not enough reason for you to be going around looking for men to frolic with. I ask you, why my son? Why do you want to send him to an early grave? Why Fabio? Now do me a favor. Get my son off your hook if you know what is good for you. <clears throat> How dare you want to walk out on me? Sit down there. How much do you want me to give you to leave my son alone? I want you to name your price. You think this is about money, right? Do I look hungry to you? Well, my husband left enough behind. Yes, he left enough for my children and I. So I don't need your money. I see. So, this is not about money after all, but about pleasure. You seek pleasure in between my son's thighs. Listen, leave my son alone. And I do not want to see your face anywhere around these premises. Get out of my presence now. Get out of my presence, you shameless Did Fabio 
purposely bring me here for his mom to abuse me? Okay, you sound a test on the phone. You told me you were not going out. Well, yes, I said that to you, but you know, something came up. I had to run. And you couldn't even call me to tell me? I know I should have called, but deluded my memory. I'm sorry. Okay? What is our problem? Fabio, you know you are the reason I will even step my feet into that house for anything. You stopped by the house. I did. And guess what? Mm. Your mother attacked me with vile languages that I cannot even deal with. Oh boy. That's a lot to take. I know. But please, baby, for my sake, please forgive her. Okay? Fabio. I will not step my feet into that house again. Never. Why not? Come on. I mean... What, what, what do you want us to do? I have a house. No, 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 no. I can't take you to a hotel. Neither can I bring you here. We need space. We can use here. No. How can I? Sweetheart, what are you saying? How can I possibly be making love to you in your, your late husband's house on your matrimonial bed? It's not right. You know it's not right. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Your late husband's house. Fabio, my husband is lead. The more reason you should have respect for the dead, don't you think? I don't see anything wrong with it. I see everything wrong with it. Oh yeah, how about your kids? Yes, how about the kids? How about your husband's late husband's kinsmen? What if they get to know about this illicit affair? What do you think they would say? It would be a calamity. Did you just call what we share illicit? Okay, not in that context. Not illicit in that context. I mean, calm down. Please. Huh? I understand that you're upset. Relax now. I'm here now. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're here now? Mm -hmm. I'm here. Relax. Your, your mom really spoke to me in languages I do not like. And I'm apologizing. I'll make up for it. That's why I'm here. You sure? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. You want to make up for it? Right here. Mm -hmm. Come on. So tell me. The wedding is in two weeks time and he has already started cheating. Listen to me. I cannot stand my mouth with another woman. No. Forget it. All men cheat and my man is not an exception. What are you talking about? Babe, why are you asking me all this question? Marriage. <laughs> what stupid wedding. Listen, this wedding is going to be on hold until I clear the air. I am here. I am going to frustrate him. Of course. Love. What stupid love are you talking about? I must take my pound of flesh. And that is it. Babe, they ask me plenty of questions now. This one be, why did I save him that night? I obviously did because from afar I could smell welt all over him. I had to try my luck. My intentions. <laughs> Listen, babe. If I can lay my hands on his credit cards and the documents to any of his property, Just that. Oh, babe. Oh, okay. I'll call you back soon. Oh, my parents are just got Do you want to talk to him? <laughs> okay. All right. Catch you later. All right. Your friend, I guess. Oh, yes. Uh, it's all right. So go in there and get ready. Yeah. Why? We are going to see the pastor today, church. Have you forgotten Pastor David? For what reason? Will you sit down there and just ask me questions? 
I mean, he demanded that we see him. I am not going. And, you know, obviously we still have some unsettled issues. Wait. So, Laura, please. In two weeks' time, you and I will become man and wife. And I am not ready for any quarrel now, please. Huh? Okay. So, go ahead. You can go see whoever you want, whichever pastor you want, while I sit here and wait for you. No, no. You will go in there and get dressed. And we will see the pastor. And that's period. And I said no. Yes, Pastor. Well, she refused to come in with me to see you. I have continually explained things to her, but she's not ready to listen to me. I have told her that Oye and I have nothing. She's just my childhood friend. Yes, of course, I've explained these things to her. Oh, he has always been there for me, sir. In fact, her kind words were what gave me solace when I sojourned abroad. So, I have, yes, I have told her all these things, but she doesn't want to listen to any of that. Pastor, I have come to really love Laurel, and I don't know what is going on. The cards, the wedding invites have already gone out. Yes, I have come too far to start getting cold feet. Please, sir, just help me talk to her. You know, somehow I'm just beginning to feel like probably I'm cursed or something. Yes, because first of all, Onye rejected my proposal. And now, Laurel is just hell-bent on making life difficult for me. It's... Okay, I'm all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. <clears throat> you called your daddy Jiggle? To sulk? Mm? Baby, why are you actually doing this? Can't you see that your man is depreciating. Do I look like I care? You don't care? Listen. Only the truth can save you. Even the Bible says God hates liars. And equally, Lauren hates liars. Cheap liars like you. Listen, listen. There is nothing going on between Oye and I. Listen, as a matter of fact, I have not even seen her nakedness for once. Liar. I am not lying. You are lying. You're obviously lying. Men can lie even with gun pointed at your head. So stop it. Please. Baby, please. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? Take your hands off me. Baby. Mm -hmm. So this is what your mom wants me to stop and join. Well, you know that no one can come between you and I. Yeah? Are you sure? Kai you're spoiling me. Yeah, I'm a good man. I don't like what you're doing with me. You're so sweet. Uh, thank you, baby. You're even sweeter. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell I was riding like a stallion while I was on top of you. Mm. Uh, you were almost passing out. I enjoyed every bit of it. And I'm like, look at her. <laughs> she doesn't even know that mom. I have more stored where that was coming from. Listen, I have this new style that I'm saving for the woman. Really? Oh, I'm telling you, if I if I hit you with that style, oh. gee, if I hit you with that style, 
Hi. Uh, you'll not let me leave this place. Mm. <laughs> you'll ask me to move in. That means you're not going anywhere tonight. Says who? Says me. Uh, we'll be doing that time all night long. You want me to stay here mm -hmm. this night mm -hmm. because of a long pipe? Ugh. I'm going home. Don't <laughs> worry. I have never spent a night on a first place Come before. On. Come on. What? This always the first time. Mm. That's a message from my mom. I have to go. I certainly would have to go. I have to go. I can't spend the night here. Yeah, right. Mommy's boy. Ah, whatever. Yeah, just, go. Just so like, she can cuddle you and give you breast to suck. You're just being jealous. Can yeah. I say that again? You can say whatever I want to say, but... Okay, one talk. I can give you one more for the road. For which road? You're not going anywhere. Okay, just collect it first. They will not decide if. You're not going. Don't going. be like that. No. What must I do for him to spend the night here and show me this special style that he has been reserving? Fetch my son. Ma? Are you deaf? Call my son for me. Ma, Prof is not in the house. I don't get it. He's not in his room. Excuse me, hold on. He left here this morning. Are you telling me that up till now he's not yet back? Yes, ma. Get my phone from my room. Okay, ma. Mm. I hope it is not what I am thinking. Oh, Fabio. What is wrong with you? You are one of the best when it comes to intellectualism. Why do you want to destroy everything? Why are you gambling with it? Just because of the waste of a widow? Oh. Fabio. Hey. You can go back to your duty post. Okay. 
Hmm? Hey, my mom. So? I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Please help me with my clothes. Uh -huh. oh Never my mind. What? They are in a bucket of water. What? Shamaka! What have you done? Where are my clothes? Relax. No, no, tell me to relax. I have to go. I really have to go. I must go. I said relax. No, where am I? I can't be relaxed. Where are my clothes? What do you think you're doing? It's, 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 what? It's, it's close to 9 p.m. I have to leave this place. Don't worry. Calm down. All I want is for us to just spend the night, okay? Touch me. Relax. How can you do something like this, man? Well, relax and do what? Come I can't on, spend the night. Have, of course you have to. Listen, it's bad enough that we've we'll had sex on your matrimonial bed. It's, it's bad enough. Are we going to go back at that again? Okay. Where could he be? I've called him twice. But he didn't pick. I have a premonition that he is in the arms of that widow. I just have to talk about <sighs> What lie do you want me to tell now? Fabio, pick up your call. Are you serious now? I should tell you a lie to tell your mom. I have to tell. Come on, Fabio, you're a grown man. Um. Hello, mom. Son? I want you to start coming back to the castle now. I know where you are. I know you're in the arms of that widow. Start coming home now. How do you even know what... You, you, you don't even have an idea where I am. The first thing you should do is ask to find out where I am. Stop making assumptions, mom. I know where you are. Nobody told me. It was just mere intuition. What it... Mom, stop. Please, please. I'm at a friend's place. Okay? Fabio, you are a male chauvinist. Mom, stop call you're calling me names. Uh, I... You want to start coming home now? Or you want me to come get you myself? I hate you. I love you too. Would you just, can you just stop? Then why would I stop? Just stop. Fabio has sworn to bring ignominy to my family out of sheer idiocy. Why is there this deeply felt malaise? among the working classes. Fabio, you may not have told me where you are, but your actions say it all. Madame Chiamaka, I cannot stand your misdoings because they are petty misdemeanors. I will fight you with everything in me in order to get my son off your hook. I will crush you with my bare hands. I will crush you with my bare hands. Can you wipe that smirk off your face? What's, what's wrong with you? You should be thinking of how I would live here tonight. <laughs> but I just told you, you are not going anywhere. I 
darling, I have to go. Come on, look, look, look. Whether you like it or not, I have to go home. I have never spent a night at a woman's place before. I'm not going to start tonight, okay? I must find a way to live here. I must find a way to get home tonight. Not until we have done that style what you talked about. What are you talking about? Give me my clothes. Let me go. They are in the water. So, but I have to go. What? Look, I, get me something to wear. I have to go. I need something to wear. The style. What style are you talking about? Look, your kids are going to walk in on us. Oh, Aren't you thinking of your kids? Don't worry about them. They are all in the boarding school. So it's just you and I. Okay? Come on. Oh, I see. The style. So you have all of this worked out, huh? What are you talking about? No, no, no. no. You, 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 you. I feel kidnapped right now. Yeah. You are kidnapped by me. Oh, is that so? Yeah. So tell me. What do you want to eat? So I can go make it for you. I, I, I'm not hungry. But I want you to have strength for the style. What? You, you want to kill me? Right? It, it's just a style. What style? The one you talked about. We've gone four rounds already. So? Nothing else will come out other than water. You're strong. Let me go home. You're strong. Let me go home. What do you want to eat? You'll kill me. What do you want to eat? Jamaica, you. Good about this song. Oh, come on, Mom, please. Jesus. Let's not have this. Where are you coming from? I spent the night at a friend's place. Are you not shameless? Fabio, you spent the night in a widow's house. You and that woman are guilty of gross misconduct. That widow is the only one that I have chosen, which is why she's the only woman that I am seeing, mother. I like her. What is wrong with this young man standing before me? There is me? nothing wrong with me, mother. Something is wrong with you, son. It's either you are sick or you are mentally deranged. What are you looking for? In the waist of a widow, a woman whose husband is no more, when there are other women, single girls out there. Well, I don't see them. I don't see those women. Chiamaka is my choice. As a matter of fact, mother, she's the sweetest woman I've ever been with. You know, she's so sweet that sometimes I begin to ask myself why a man would have something so sweet and then die and Leave it behind. I don't intend to leave this one behind, Mother. Neither do I intend to argue with you this morning. I'm tired. I'd like to rest. I'll be in my room. is perplexing. One is not too sure of what he actually feels for that woman that makes him do the unthinkable and the unimaginable. Well, on this note, it calls for revolt against such malady. Hold on a minute. Could he be holding on to that woman 
until something better is available? Or could it be love? I'm going to find out that. Yes, Senator. I suggest you apologize to the woman. I'll find a way to make her drop the case. With all due respect, sir, we have evidence against you that will be of interest to any judge. Oh yes, we do. Yes, there's an evidence against you. I mean, where you harass the woman sexually and you're trying to use your political status to intimidate her. And I tell you what, Senator, that is not good for your reputation. Yes, I know you did. You know, in our country, they don't, they see such things as nothing. But increasing number of women are not taking that anymore. Yes, women are now speaking up. Like I said before, I advise you apologize to her. Then I will find a way to make her drop the case. Yes, because... Um... Um, uh, Senator, please, uh, uh, let me call you back, please. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Hello, Prof. Hey, Barrister. How are you? I've been great. Okay. Um, <laughs> Barrister. I um. Uh, but you 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 want you want you want to say something? What is it? I called because uh, you know it has been a while. You crossed my mind, and I thought to, to you know check on you, and at the same time, you know uh, <laughs> you haven't been here for quite a while, and, and we're just wandering in the castle, you know, <laughs> where our barrister, you know, has been. And I'm wondering if you can come around the castle, maybe this evening. Well, I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm quite busy this evening. Okay. Oh, well, I understand. I mean, this call is on a short notice. <laughs> uh, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow is still very occupied. 
Oh, is it? Oh, wow. It looks like you're really busy this period. Yes, Prof. I've been quite busy. We have this high-profile political case that we've been working on. Very well, then. I wish you luck. You too. Bye. That's strange. Prof remembers me all of a sudden. <laughs> Zibi, you're welcome. The most beautiful as always. Mm. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. You haven't called to even check up on me, find out how I'm faring. I mean, that's not fair. You know why. I missed you. Same here. I'm sorry for not checking up on you. I've been very busy. Mm. We'll have the serious case that we've been working on. So I'll be shuffling between court and all that. Serious case? Mm-hmm. A high degree murder. Wow. You must have seen it in the internet. I I don't think so. <laughs> no, it went viral. A houseboy that killed his master, the wife, and the three... Three kids. Exactly. Oh. I actually saw it. Um, it's disheartening. I, has he been caught? I, I, the blogger said he escaped. Well, at the time, he escaped. But he has been apprehended. Thank God. You know, sometimes I... I just... Imagine what kind of use we are breeding in our society these days. 17 years old boy. I mean... 17 it, or 16? 17! It's mind-wrecking. It's, it's, it's terrible. Sniffing life out of five people. Five! Not one. Five! It's Please, terrible. you guys should make sure that guy pays for his crimes. <laughs> Their case is already in court, so they'll give him the appropriate punishment. That aside, ah. you're not looking bad at all. <laughs> like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> How is your fiancé? Uh, you know, after the last time you visited, a lot of things have not been really going on well. Yeah. Well, I am still glad you actually visited because it revealed a lot of things about the person I thought I was dating. The person I assumed I was going to make my wife. I'm glad you visited. I don't understand. It's actually complicated, anyway. But Laurel wasn't there for marriage. She wasn't even dating me for love. That girl just wanted to rip me off. Rid me of everything I've ever worked for. My house documents, my credit cards. You know, she's been having this secret um, calls and communication with one of her accomplices. But um, she had no idea that I had mounted CCTV cameras in every nook and cranny of my house. The guy comes in when I'm not around, makes love to her, and then the scheme on whatever their plan is. Wait, lives. what? That's it. A surprise, right? I was even more shocked. Laurel is a snake. She's a wolf in sheep clothing. She is like the devil's incarnate herself. Goodness. But she's yet to see what I have in stock for her. I have my plans. And when the time comes, she'll get her pay in full. Oi, I have not really been able to come to terms with the reason you have refused to accept my proposal. 
Zubain Zubi, please. I mean, even when you know that we've been this close from childhood, I mean, I'm still surprised. Please stop. Please, don't go there. Listen, Zubi, I love you as a brother. Yes. You know, my my heart yearns for another. Oh. Um, why didn't you tell me all this why? I mean, I, it's not necessary. Ah. It's all right. You're my sister, and you remain my sister. I actually came to... to say goodbye, and wish you well. And also say me hi to him, whoever he is. <laughs> are, you, are you living just like that? Like I said, I just came to say goodbye. You will always be my sister. Bye. What is wrong with Fabio? Age is no longer on his side. Why is he not thinking of settling down? I thought he would have a rethink and reconsider his stand after his 50th birthday. But I was wrong. Good afternoon, Prof. Good afternoon. Please be seated. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, Madam Chiamaka, you come across to me like someone who is very civilized and cultured. Wow. I will take that as a compliment. Thank you very much, Prof. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll be wondering why I sent for you. Um, actually, I, I am not wondering why, because I know that you will tell me eventually. Well, as a woman who has children, I am sure you understand why I am doing what I'm doing. I think you are doing this to protect your son from a widow. But you see, I've been looking for an opportunity to ask you, what exactly is my offense? I mean, is it my fault that my husband died early? Or am I not supposed to find love simply because I am a widow? Madam Chair, Mark, I wouldn't want us to keep dragging this. I just want us to sort this whole matter out, once and for all. And how do we do that? The only issue I had with you is your status as a widow. But I've asked myself a lot of questions and um, I've come to the realization that I was wrong. At this point, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't. Sugar the pill. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Marry my son. Prof. Oh. Prof, I can't marry Fabio. I can't. 
we had an agreement never to talk about marriage. I can't marry Fabio. Barista, it's good to see you here, but I must um, say that you have changed. Really? Oh, yes. You no longer make out time to come see your friend, my mom. Yes. Let's see. I decided to make proper use of my time. Oh, please make me understand. Well, I've been busy lately. Just that? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really makes me laugh. <laughs> well, I'll take it. I'll take that as an excuse. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it if you say so. So, um, uh, what have you been busy doing? How is work and all? Work is fine. I actually came from work. Oh, oh good evening. You're here. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, ma. Son, I would like to see you now. Now? Yes. Is that a problem? No, just come. Okay. Excuse us. Yes, sir. What is she doing here? What do you mean? Oh, I, I invited her. What for? Mom, why are you a tad bit hostile? Eh? She's your friend. Is it now wrong for me to invite your friend? Yes. To Everything is wrong with you inviting her over. Why? Why would you do that? I have tried to hook you up with women here. But you looked me in the face and told me you never liked her. So why did you invite her over? Okay, now I get it, Mom. Calm down. <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Um, it's actually a harmless invitation. I, I mean no harm, really. You're hurting her. Set her free. Just let her be. Let her go. You told me you never liked her. This girl is a good girl. She's one person I know that has a long queue of admirers and suitors. Free her. Well, uh, you won't blame me now for inviting me. I mean, look at her. She has a very sweet and likable personality. Yeah. <laughs> of all the women that have trooped to this house, she's one person that I never really stopped enthusing about. Must I also add that um, she's the only woman I think I never tried to seduce me. You know, for that I have a lot of love and respect for her. You know, so that's, that's why I invited her, really. It's uh, harmless. So. Fabio, you're just introducing that as a table. <laughs> Mom. Okay, fine. Now you know she's that unique. What is stopping you from doing the right thing? And that would be? To marry her. Mom, come on now. <laughs> I can't marry her. Uh, she's not in my league. She is the best for you. Nah, I won't let you entrap me into marrying that upstart, Mbana. Nah, come on. Fine. <laughs> Fine, good. Nah. Then why don't you marry Madam Chiamaka? And let us get this whole thing over with. Mom, are you joking or you're serious now? You want me? Your son to marry your widow. How? Fabio, she has always been a widow. Yes. She's been a widow all this while you've been going down with her. Oh, yes. I, now I get you. <laughs> but mom, that is different. That that's just sex. Forgive me, but it's sex. Now we're talking marriage. What can I possibly be doing with a widow that has two children? 
What will I be doing in her life, Mom? Fabio. Mom. You're just pathetic. I know. This is a wild goose chase. I've been living in a fool's paradise thinking that Fabio will someday want me for keeps. I've been a fool. So it is actually true he's having a sexual affair with a widow. His mother even knows about their illicit affair. The rumor is all over town. He is sleeping with Madame Chiamaka. In a strange way, I seem enabled by the grief I have experienced in his hands in the recent past. Fabio, he was so blunt to his mom that he cannot marry me. What evil have I done to myself? Zube came back the second time, probably to know if I would have changed my mind. I should have said yes to him and put an end to this madness. Oh my God. Why are you crying? What is it? I'm finished. How? How? Fabio has finished me. Prof? <laughs> I've dropped on the argument he was having with his mother. Okay. And he made it clear to her that he would never marry me. What? But, but I, I said this. You just wouldn't listen. Oni, I think this is a mother thinking. I mean, you had a wonderful opportunity, but you buffed it. You are right. You had all your eggs casted in one basket. You shouldn't have let those men off your hook. All because you had hopes that Professor was going to propose. Exactly my point. Doris. Yes. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Please. You know, Oni, I'm getting irritated by all these things. I mean, look at you. You are a shadow of your own self. Go in there, freshen up, and go out there and get the man that is meant for you. God even brought Uzube back. But you... I was telling you at the office today. Yes. Bella, you said it. Look at our colleague. All messed up. Oh, you see, it's all a mirage. You know, Prof thinks he's so handsome that all women are swayed by his charming looks and eloquence. Who does he think he is to mess with our friend? There's this burden I have been having in the last few days. It started slowly, but right now it's gathering momentum. 
I have every reason to believe that Stevenson was murdered. No, 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 not by his business associates, but by his family members. You know how he died? How they buried him immediately? How they came for the property? I've added everything up. And I know that Stevenson will not, he will not be happy with me. Yeah, I feel he will be disappointed in me. Who could that be? I, I, I'll call you back. Who is that? Who? Yeah, it's me, Rola. Roland. Yes, baby. What are you doing here at this time of the night? <laughs> hey! Chiamaka, the beautiful wife of my late brother. Why are you always asking me? Why? I ask you again. What are you doing here? Um, Chiamaka, <clears throat> it's been two old years since we buried Stevenson. Yes. Where the family members have moved on. So why are you still mourning him? Why? Just tell me, why? So, um, <clears throat> because I have refused your very immoral advances towards me. You've come here to remind me of my husband? First of all, <clears throat> my advances towards you is not immoral. Yes, you are mine. So let's stop arguing over this. Roland, I will never have anything to do with you. Never. So just quit trying. <laughs> why? Chemaka, why? Is it because of that useless son of a professor that you have continued to host in my house? He is not just the son of a professor. For your information, he is a professor. And you will never, ever be in his class. Now get out. You sounded a bit frantic. Is everything okay? Look, if there's a time I need your assistance, it is now. You're talking parables, what is it? My husband's killers. They are walking about as free as air. Please. I need you to help me get justice for my husband. Please. You think that someone killed your husband? Yes. He was poisoned to death. Well, who do you suspect? his younger siblings. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. How can someone kill their own blood? You know what? Please, let's go inside so I can tell you the reason they did this. Listen, I don't want you to think that I am dismissing what you told me out there, but I just want more information. I just need all the facts that you can help me with. That way I can decide what I want to do and how I can help. Okay? The truth is that I have been a fool. A fairy? Big food. Why would you say that of yourself? You're not a fool. Come on, why would you say that? Everything is adding up now. I shouldn't have believed them hook, line and sinker. 
everything is adding up now. I'm beginning to see reasons why they killed him. Why do you think they killed him? You know, Stevenson made legitimate money from fertilizer importation at a very tender age. Even his boss couldn't take the kind of financial risks he took. And he was marveled when Stevenson diversified into fertilizer importation. Oh, hold on. What? Stevenson, what? Same Stevenson? Uh, Stevenson was your husband? Yes. I knew of him. And his problems began after he got married to me. Why? What, did he want you two to get married? They didn't want him to get married at such tender age. Stevenson was only 28 when he built this house. They wanted him to wait until he was 35. Whatever. Why? Because obviously they felt the presence of a woman will stop them from gaining access to his wealth. <laughs> so, he took me to a marriage registry and got married to me without the knowledge of his family members. Hmm. And so what happened after that? Did they kick against the marriage? I thought they had lost the battle. But I never knew they were planning evil against my husband. But it was as if Stevenson knew. Because he made me co-owner and co-signatory to his account. They sent me to Sokoto to go and take care of one of their sisters who put to bed a newborn baby. They poisoned him in my absence. When they came for the papers, they couldn't do anything because everything was already in my name. You know, Prof, I don't know how to add this all up. But please, I beg of you. How can you help me find justice for my husband? How? Once again, Chama tells you are sharing me. The same fool I want you to stop saying. The same ego who's making you deny me of my right just left this house. What has he come here to do? And how dare you? No, no, no. How dare you walk into this place to talk rubbish? Are you okay? Listen, Luna. I have been tolerating your excesses ever since I lost my husband. Just because I don't want to divide the family. And I don't want to do anything that will make Stevenson turn in his grave. But you know what, Luna? You have pushed me to the wall this time. Pushed you to the wall? What does that mean? Why are you not giving me a direct answer to my question? Chiamaka, for the last time, what has that ego come here to do? Ronald, my husband in his generosity, built a comfortable house for his siblings. A kind gesture that you guys have reduced to appreciate. You know what? If you leave this house today, don't ever come. I beg your pardon. Oh, Roland, I now know why I was sent to Sokoto to go and attend to Ampera. Yes! I now know what happened to Stevenson. But I am telling you that I will stop at nothing to get to the roots of this. Chiamaka, you are not making any sense. Yes. What do you know? And what happened to my brother? Oh, we will know when the time comes. But for now, Get out. What? Get out! I said get out! Get out! You know, she confided in me that her husband's siblings are responsible for, for his death. Hmm. They must have done it, no doubt. But, um, you see, there's no strong evidence that they had hands on the man's death. 
According to your story, the man died two years ago. I would have suggested the man's corpse be assumed and uh, an autopsy carried out on it. True, I agree with you that that's right. For a man that went through such an excruciating pain before his death, what the wife should have done when she came back from Sokoto was to call for a revolt on the grounds that her husband's cops be assumed by the police for proper investigation. After all, she's educated. She shouldn't have just kept quiet in that um, type of death just for her to suddenly wake up seeking for justice. Mm. I, I, I see your point, Barista, but I also think that, you know, these people systematically, you know, got her into traveling far away so that they can carry out this wicked plot. Mm. That's what I think. Well, Prof, I will study your complaints at my leisure time. Additionally, I would like to have a chat with the plaintiff so that I'll know the next step to take. True, true, true. I'll arrange that. Thank you so much, Barista. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for You're your welcome. time. Yes, Abbas. He's been gone for a whole week now. Yeah, he traveled to the village. I'm left in this whole house alone. Mm-hmm. Seriously planning for the wedding. But he's so dumb to realize that I'm done with him. Yeah. Oh, well, not yet. I'm still unable to lay my hands on the document to this house. Once I get hold of it, I will sell this house. <laughs> of course. I'm going to fudge it right away. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. All right, later. Stanley, but my friends call me ST. Okay. The men with me are the police officers from the area commander. Police officers. Okay. Um, without much ado, the owner of this house sold the house to me two days ago. <laughs> what, what, what's your name again? My name is Stanley. Okay. Stanley, ST, or whatever you called yourself. This house belongs to my husband and I. Okay? Yes, that was until two days ago. He sold the house to me. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. This house, or, or whatever. See, the, the owner of this house is not even in town. Okay, so how possible would that be that he sold the house to you in his absentia? How? I know Uzubeche Ukoha. Yes. He sold this house to me two days ago after his wedding with his sweetheart in Dubai. And every necessary transaction has been completed. Uh -huh. oh, 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 hold on, hold on, please. He, he said... What? Nzube? Wedding? In Dubai? In Dubai, yes. Would you recognize his voice if you hear? Laurel, do well to move yourself and your things out of the house for Mr. Stanley, who is a new landlord of the house. A slay queen will always be a slay queen. I 
overheard your conversation on phone with your boyfriend right from the very day I barged in on you making the call. I went out of my way to mount a CCTV in the whole compound to monitor your every move. Do you know how many years I spent in the streets of Spain before going to the United Kingdom? After I was released from prison? For you to think you can just fool me. Well, I discovered you wanted to sell my house and I acted fast to avoid stories that touches the heart. I am happily married now. My wedding was two days ago in Dubai. Thank you, Laurel, for allowing God use you to save my life. God bless you. Except your personal belongings. Please, go in there and pick your things. I would like to lock up my compound. I came with the policeman in case if you refuse to be moved. Please, go in there and pack your things and leave. I want to lock my compound. Oh, my car key. Hold, hold on, please. Officers, do your job. Move her. Madam, there are too many angles to the case against you. So I will advise you not to complicate the case further. Move. Please. I said move! Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. Please. 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 Madam. Please. 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 I done to myself. Oh. He overheard my conversation with Abbas on the phone that day. And he never showed it. Ah. I don't even know what to do. Lauren. Lauren. Should have mellowed down and married that fine guy. He was right. A run scale will always be a run scale. Ah. Hey. Has told me everything. Okay. So I demanded to see and chat with you in person. Okay. You see, Barrister, my husband was callously murdered. And I seek justice. That was two years ago, right? Yes. I just came back from the north to hear that he had been buried. Barista, I didn't even get a chance to see my husband's corpse. Madam Chamaka, you would have demanded to know what killed him and why they buried him almost immediately without taking him to the mortuary. They would have called for a revolt. Barista, I guess I was bereft of speech by a family riven by age-long feuds. You don't understand. Allow me to elucidate. I have already tried to encapsulate. So no need for long talks, Barrister. You know, I was enmeshed in their webs of lies and deceit. Yes, they gave me this delusive impression and made me travel to Sokoto, only to callously kill their eldest brother. You know, they exploited his generosity shamelessly and killed him afterwards. Barrister, all I want is justice for my husband. If the court exonerates them, fine, let them walk away freely. But if the court finds them guilty, I want them.
brought to book. Each of them that has a hand in Stevenson's death. That's what I want. You said your gate man is a witness. Yes, he is. Very well then. We are going to make arrests okay. and interrogate them. I believe in the process they will confess to the crime. Good. Very good. Barrister. If you help me bring the killers of my husband to book, I promise you, I will reward you handsomely. Well, Madam Chamaka, I will try my best. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but what do I offer you? Forgive me. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, she promised to get to the root of the matter. I can't let the killers of my husband go scot-free. It is tit for tat. Actually, I've rolled up my sleeves. I mean, how can they just kill my husband? Making myself and my children a widow and fatherless children. It's not right. Honestly, I believe God brought us together for a reason. Thanks for everything. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, Pro, Pro, I'm so happy. Yes, so the siblings of my late husband are languishing in the police net as we speak. <laughs> They've owned up to the crime. Yes. <laughs> I am very, very happy, honestly. Very soon they will be brought before the court of law. Yes. And they won't go unpunished. I am so happy, Prof. I am so, so happy. Honestly, what they did was beyond kill. Yes, so, they have owned up to the crime. Very soon, they will be brought before the court of law. I am so happy. <laughs> oh my God, you don't know how happy I am. I am so, so happy, Prof. I am so happy! <laughs>
sparkles of blue light. Zamuro left sides before me. He must be the lost prince of Zamuro. The blue light of Zamuro left whose eyes? Gods of my ancestors. You are that child who was given out. You. Can you please sit down? I need to tell you the story of your life. Strange indeed. Have you related this to her? I mean, what is this? Oh, no, no, no. You're the only one that I... You know, I... I felt the need to talk to about this first. So that you can advise on how I can I relate this to her. All things being equal, if you can uh, narrate your story to me as well. Tell you more. <laughs> the same way you narrated to me on how you obscured the kingdom that is hidden on top of the mountain, named Sam. Zamuro Kingdom is the land of your birth. They disowned and wanted to kill you because of the sparkle of blue light in your eyes. They termed you an evil child. But now, is the time for you to answer the clarion call. Mom, you would have to go with me to Zamuro. No. Why not? Son, you have to be married. You cannot ascend the throne without a bride. Marry lawyer Oninye. On one condition. Okay. I'm listening. That you come with me to the ancient kingdom of Zamoro. And then I will marry Oninye. His emergence in my life brought the kind of joy I had never experienced. And because of him, I decided not to marry again. He is my everything. He is my world. Professor Elizabeth. Yes, please. You are indeed a friend of Zamuro. Having raised the lost prince of Zamuro into a man of substance, during the coming New Year Festival of Zamuro Kingdom, you are going to be bestowed with the highest chieftaincy of Zamuro. <laughs> and you, like I told you already, you are that lost prince. And look at the throne, the vacant throne of Zamuro. The gods had revealed that no king must emerge in Zamuro until the lost prince with the sparkles of blue eyes she was himself. Thank you very much, the great keeper of the palace of Zamuro. Thank you for holding the words of the elders. I feel at home. At home? Oh yes, I feel at home. 
I tell you this, Great Keeper, from the moment I walked into this compound, I felt a force moving me. I couldn't fight it. Almost to see if I was under an influence, I kept moving, I kept moving, I kept moving until I saw right in front of me a statue that I now know as the statue of my grandfather. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I kept taking pictures. I kept taking pictures. But I tell you this, the more I took pictures, the more I felt a sense of fulfillment and peace inside of me. All of that was happening within and around me, and I did not even know that I was home. <laughs> Once again, Great Keeper, I am happy to be home, and I look forward coronation. Tell my people that I am not coming to rule, but to serve. <laughs> it is indeed a big story that we are going to tell the people when the time comes. <laughs> One more time, I welcome you before the throne of your fathers with the elegant woman you have chosen <laughs> as your queen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No way I go love in my business. If love will go kill me in my weakness. If I want something, I go go for it. Ain't that that thing go make me happy? Don't try to tell me how to do it. I'm a eye, they see, I'm a heart, they feel. I don't like playing games with nobody. Just want you to know. This is who I am. I put my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the soil. No way I go love in my business. If love will go kill me, in my weakness. If I want something, I go go for it. Ain't that that thing go make me happy? Don't try to tell me how to do it. I'm a eye, they see, I'm a heart, they feel. I don't like playing games with nobody. Just want you to know. This is who I am. I put my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the side of you. This is who I am. I've been my push on your water. This is who I am. I've been the son of the soil. 